Hey guys, today we're going to learn exponents and powers. Before we continue, don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Powers are basically in the form of x to the exponent of n, where x is the base and n is the exponent. Let's take the example 6 to the exponent of 2. Here, 6 is going to be the base. 2 is going to be the exponent, and 6 to the exponent of 2 is going to be the power. 6 to the exponent of 2 is going to equal 6 times 6. And we know that 6 times 6 equals 36. A really important thing here is that the exponent tells the base how many times it has to multiply by itself. So never forget that that is super important. Um, so... Here, because the exponent is 2, so the 2 is telling the 6, the 6 has to multiply by itself 2 times. Okay, let's move on. So why do we even study exponents and powers? Exponents let us shorten something that can be really hard to write or say. For example, the distance from Earth to the Sun. It's this huge number I don't know how to say. If you guys can, good job, but it's hard for me. So instead, I can write it in its exponential form, 15 times 10 to the exponent of 10. It's way easier to write and say. Okay, the laws of exponents or rules. The first one, the zero rule, is just saying that anything to the exponent of zero is going to be one. So if I give two to the exponent of zero, it's just going to equal one. Okay, the product rule. Here it's just saying that if two powers multiply and the bases are the same, then the exponents are going to add. 2 to the exponent of 2 times 2 to the exponent of 3. First, as per the law, we're going to put 2 to the exponent of 2 plus 3 as our answer. And we know that 2 plus 3 equals 5, so the answer is going to be 2 to the exponent of 5. And that is our answer. Here, do not forget that we do not multiply the bases. If the bases are the same, just leave it as it is. Let it be. Okay, here it's the same thing, except the powers are dividing. And that causes the exponents to subtract instead of add. So if I give 2 to the exponent of 6 over 2 to the exponent of 4, that is going to equal 2 to the exponent of 6 minus 4. And we know that 6 minus 4 equals 2. So the answer is going to be 2 to the exponent of 2. And there is our answer. So again, don't forget that we do not divide these bases because they are the same. So just leave it as it is. Again, power of a product. Here, this M is going to be applied to the A and the B. So if I write 2 times 3, Whole to the exponent of 2. So here this 2 is going to be applied to the 2 or the A and the 3 or the B. So here the answer is going to be 2 to the exponent of 2 times 3 to the exponent of 2. So that is our answer, but we can also write it another way. We can also say 6 to the exponent of 2. So how 
is because we multiplied the inside of the parentheses first. But this isn't the case for everything. So if I give you 2 times x whole to the exponent of 2. Here the 2 will apply to the 2 or the a and the x which can be the b. So the answer should be 2 to the exponent of 2 times x to the exponent of 2 as the law or rule says. But we cannot do 2x to the exponent of 2. That is just wrong. It's if x, so if I wrote 2 times 3, which was my previous question, 2. Here, we could do 6 to the exponent of 2. Here, we can do the inside first. But, here, we don't have a choice to in the top one. So, we would rather just follow the law rather than doing the um, inside of the parentheses first. Okay. Again, the power of a product. Here, it's the same thing except the A and the B are just dividing. Or the basis. So here, if I gave... 2 over 3 whole to the exponent of 2. So here the 2 is going to apply to the numerator and the denominator. So here the answer is going to be 2 to the exponent of 2 divided by 3 to the exponent of 2. And that is our answer. Simple, right? Here. All this is doing is that the exponents are going to multiply. So if I write 2 to the exponent of 3 whole to the exponent of 2. So here these two are going to multiply. So I'm going to write 2 to the exponent of 3 times 2. And we know that 3 times 2 equals 6. So the answer is going to be 2 to the exponent of 6. And that is our answer. Okay, now negative exponent. Here, all this formula is doing is getting rid of the negative in the exponent to a positive. So if I wrote 2 to the exponent of negative 3, here it would be 1 over 2 to the exponent of 3. Okay, that is just terrible handwriting, so I'm just going to write that again. Okay, so that is going to be our answer. Here, we just changed it into a fraction. That's like the only thing we did. We can also write it 1 over 2 whole to the exponent of 3. We can only do this here because 1 to the exponent of anything is always going to be 1. So that is our answer. But also notice here and this. Those two are the reciprocal of each other. So the reciprocal of 2 is 1 over 2, and the reciprocal of 1 over 2 is 2. So just remember a shortcut here. It's that um, the answer, the base, is always going to be the reciprocal of whatever the original number was. So this. Okay. So really, this is going to get all so simple later on. For now, let's just move on. Here, it's saying 0 to the exponent of 0 is going to be undefined. Okay, here it's saying 
If the bases are the same, the exponents are going to be equal. So if I gave 2 to the exponent of 3 equals 2 to the exponent of x. So what I like to do is make a little chart. 2 equals 2. 3 equals x. So here, 2 equals 2. So the bases are the same. Since the bases are the same, this has to be the same. And so this is going to be our answer. So x equals 3. That's our answer. So here, it's just saying the same thing. If the exponents are the same, the bases are going to be equal. So kind of the same thing. So again, if I gave you 2 to the exponent of 3 equals x to the exponent of 3. Let's make that little t-chart again. So here, 2 equals x, 3 equals 3. Let's look at the top part. Here, they're both the same, so they match. These two match, so these two have to match. And so this is our answer x equals 2. First, we want to figure out the value of x. So first, let's look at the first part. Since there are 2, 2 to the exponent of 33s, we can write 2 times 2 to the exponent of 33. So hold. Let me just write that better there and times so here there are three three to the exponent of 33 so we can write it as three times three to the exponent of 33 and that's going to equal six to the exponent of x okay here we can use the product formula so here, since the bases are the same, since the bases are the same, that means the exponents have to add, especially since the powers are also multiplying. So here's going to be 2 to the exponent of 1 plus 33 times 3 to the exponent of 1 plus 33. And that equals 6 to the exponent of And now we know that 1 plus 33 equals 34. So we can say 2 to the exponent of 34 times 3 to the exponent of 34. And that equals 6 to the exponent of x. Now here we can use the formula a to the exponent of m times b to the exponent of m equals a b whole to the exponent of m. So here we can say 2 times 3 whole to the exponent of 34 and that equals 6 to the exponent of x so now here we can do the inside of the parentheses first so let's do 6 to the exponent of 34 since 2 times 3 equals 6 right and that equals 6 to the exponent of x first here make that little t-chart thing so 6 equals 6 34 equals x. Here, the bases are the same, so the exponents have to be equal. So here, the answer is going to be x equals 34. And there is our answer. Here, we want to figure out x first, and then substitute it to this power. Okay, first here, we know this three and this three are the bases and the bases are the same. So that means the exponents have to be the same as well. So we can write x plus six equals seven. 
So now we can do like the inverse operation. So negative six, negative six. That's going to equal um, x equal to seven minus six. And we know that seven minus six equals one. So x is going to equal one. Okay, let me just fix that x. Okay, there. So now x is going to be our answer, but not the full answer yet. We want to figure out x 3 to the exponent of x. So 3 to the exponent of x. Let's substitute 1 in there. So that means it's going to be 3 to the exponent of 1. And we know x to the exponent of 1 is always going to equal x. So here it's going to be 3. And so 3 is our answer. Okay. So we can say 4 to the exponent of 3 x minus 2 equals 4 to the exponent of 3. Because 4 to the exponent of 3 is going to equal 64. So now, since the bases are the same, the exponents have to be the same. So these exponents have to be the same. So I'm just going to write that again. 3x minus 2 equals 3. So now... We want to get this and negative 2 to this side. So let's write plus 2 plus 2. The inverse operation for negative is positive. So it's going to be 3x equals 3 plus 2. And we know that 3 plus 2 equals 5. So 3x equals 5. Then x is going to equal 5 over 3. And that is our answer. And that is it for today. So, again, practice makes perfect. Thanks for watching my video.